Fossilized Human Footprints May Reveal Ancient Traditions Hundreds of fossilized human footprints made between 5760 and 19,100 years ago have been discovered in Africa, shedding light on what life was like in ancient communities, according to a new study. This represents the largest collection of fossilized footprints found in Africa to date. Researchers believe the 408 footprints, which form 17 different tracks, belong to 14 adult females, 2 adult males and 1 juvenile male. The footprints were made in a volcanic mudflow, and when that wet ash dried it hardened almost like concrete, said Kevin Hitala, study author and assistant professor of biology at Chatham University in Pennsylvania, in an email to CNN. So the footprint surface itself is very resilient. But this surface was also buried by other layers of sediments, which helped to form protective layers that shielded the surface from the elements for thousands of years. The study published Thursday in the journal Scientific Reports. The footprints are located at the Angersiro site, just south of Lake Natron, in northern Tanzania. It is notable that the site, which preserves the most abundant assemblage of hominin footprints currently known from Africa, is within roughly 100 kilometers 62 miles of the site of Latoli, which preserves the earliest confidently attributed hominin footprints, the authors wrote in a study. The site was discovered by members of the local Maasai community, and they shared this information with conservationists in 2008. About 56 human footprints were visible at the site in 2009, when the research team arrived thanks to natural erosion. Excavations between 2009 and 2012 uncovered the rest. The 17 tracks were all made moving at the same walking speed in a southwesterly direction. Clues to ancient human behaviors Fossilized footprints are unique because they can preserve potential evidence of human behaviors and activities. Footprints preserve amazing windows to the past, through which we can directly observe snapshots of people moving across their landscapes at specific moments in time, Hatala said. They can inform us of how fast people were moving, in which direction they were heading, how large their feet were, and sometimes whether the people who made them may have been traveling in groups. With such rich details, we can directly observe behaviors in the fossil record, something that is very difficult to do with other forms of data. In order to get a sense of the information contained within the footprints, Hatala and his colleagues studied the sizes, spacings and orientations of the footprints. Spacing and orientation can share the speed and direction of someone's movement, while size can be used to estimate who made the footprints. They were able to compare this data with that of footprints made by living humans to determine which footprints likely belong to adults, juveniles, males and females, Hatala said. With these estimates, we were able to gain a detailed picture of who was traveling across the surface, how they were moving, and whether or not they may have been traveling together, he said. This data was also compared with patterns of modern hunter-gatherer societies to understand the potential scenarios associated with these grouped footprints. And they realized that it was rare for large groups of adult females to travel together without adult males or children. One scenario in which this kind of group structure is observed is during cooperative foraging activities, in which several adult females forage together, perhaps accompanied by one or two adult males for some portion of that time, Hatala said. Infants may be carried, but young children who are old enough to walk will often stay behind, rather than participate in the foraging activities. They believe that was the case here, with multiple women walking at the same speed and in the same direction as the two men and the younger man. This suggests that labor was divided up based on gender in ancient human communities, with the women foraging, while the men accompanied them. It's similar to modern behavior by the Ake and Hadza hunter-gatherer societies in Paraguay and Tanzania, respectively. Hatala and his colleagues regard the footprints as a tantalizing snapshot, offering windows into anatomy, locomotion and group behavior, which acts as a supplement to fossil data. Skeletal fossil data is also rare in this area which makes the footprints even more intriguing. They also found evidence of zebra, antelope and buffalo tracks 18 miles to the southwest. We know that these animals were living on the same landscape as the humans who produced footprints on the same surface, he said. There were an additional six tracks of footprints, moving at various walking and running speeds, in a northeasterly direction, but the researchers don't believe they belong to a single group traveling together. We hope that our study motivates future research that might help refine our abilities to use these amazing snapshots to reconstruct past behaviors, Hitala said. At Anger Zero, our focus has shifted to site conservation. Before we excavate any further, 
we want to work with the Tanzanian government to develop a long-term conservation plan such that the site is still accessible for many generations to come. This is one of the 408 human footprints preserved at the Angrasiro site in Tanzania. The fossilized footprints reveal a group of 17 people that traveled together, likely including 14 women, 2 men and 1 juvenile male. Blade-like stone tools and beads found in Bulgaria's Bacho Kiro cave provide the earliest evidence for modern humans in Europe 47,000 years ago. This artist's illustration shows what an early small itch dinosaur that lived 248 million years ago may have looked like. It resembled a cross between a tadpole and a seal, grew to be one foot long, and had pebble-like teeth that it likely used to eat invertebrates like snails and bivvs. This is an artist's illustration of a Deletherium wee, an early mammal that lived on Madagascar 66 million years ago. This is an artist's illustration showing a cross-section of Earth's forming crust approximately 3 to 4 billion years ago. Illuminated medieval manuscripts are full of intricate decorations, illustrations, and colors, including endangered colors that can no longer be recreated today. These monkeys can be found in ancient Grecian frescoes. And the details are so accurate that researchers were able to identify them as vervet monkeys and baboons. Archaeologists have found the oldest string of yarn at a prehistoric site in southern France. This photograph, taken by digital microscopy, shows that of the cord fragment, which is approximately 6.2 mm long and 0.5 mm wide. This illustration shows Elasaurus gondwanoxidans, a long-legged reptile that lived in South America during the early Triassic period. It's a cousin to other mysterious early reptiles that arose after the Permian mass extinction event 250 million years ago. The skeletal remains of Homo antecessor are on display in this image. A recent study suggests antecessor is a sister lineage to Homo erectus, a common ancestor of modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans. A nearly 2 million year old Homo erectus skullcap was found in South Africa. This is the first fossil. This painting shows what Antarctica may have looked like 90 million years ago. It had a temperate swampy rainforest. This artist's illustration of Diniobolator nota hespera shows them in an open landscape across what is now New Mexico, along with Ogeceratops and Alamosaurus in the background. Icaria wariusha was a worm-like creature that lived 555 million years ago. It represents the oldest ancestor on the family tree for most animals. This is the 3.67 million-year-old Littlefoot skull. The view from the bottom, right, shows the original position of the first cervical vertebra, which tells us about her head movements and blood flow to the brain. This is an artist's illustration of the world's oldest modern bird, Asteriornis mustrichtensis, in its original environment. Parts of Belgium were covered by a shallow sea, and conditions were similar to modern tropical beaches like the Bahamas 66.7 million years ago. This donkey skull was recovered in a Tang Dynasty noblewoman's tomb. The researchers determined that she played donkey polo and was buried with her donkeys so that she may continue her favorite sport in the afterlife. Hundreds of mammoth bones found at a site in Russia were once used by hunter-gatherers to build a massive structure 25,000 years ago. A fossil of an ancient rudist clam called Toriite Sanchezi revealed that Earth's days lasted 23.5 hours 70 million years ago. This is an artist's impression of dinosaurs on prehistoric mudflat in Scotland, based on varied dinosaur footprints recovered on the Isle of Skye. A new study suggests that ostrich eggshell beads have been used to cement relationships in Africa for more than 30,000 years. This rock lined the seafloor roughly 3.2 billion years ago, providing evidence that Earth may have been a waterworld in its ancient past. These stone tools were found at the Daba site in India, showing that Homo sapiens survived a massive volcanic eruption 74,000 years ago. The remains of 48 people who were buried in a 14th-century Black Death mass grave were found in England's Lincolnshire countryside. The articulated remains of a Neanderthal have been found in Schneider Cave, representing the first discovery of its kind in 20 years. A rare disease that still affects humans today has been found in the fossilized vertebra of a duck-billed dinosaur that roamed the Earth at least 66 million years ago. Venezuelan paleontologist Rodolfo Sanchez is shown next to a male carapace of the giant turtle Stupendimis geographicus, for scale. 
This artist's illustration shows the newly discovered Tyrannosaurus rex relative, Thanatotherus degruderum. The newly discovered species Allosaurus jimizeni represents the earliest Allosaurus known. It was a fearsome predator that lived during the late Jurassic period millions of years before Tyrannosaurus rex. Remains found in ancient Herculaneum boathouses revealed that people trying to flee the eruption of Mount Vesuvius slowly suffocated as volcanic clouds overtook the town. The Wulong Bohansis fossil found in China's Jehol province shows some early, intriguing aspects that relate to both birds and dinosaurs. Shell tools were recovered from an Italian cave that show Neanderthals combed beaches and dove in the ocean to retrieve a specific type of clam shell to use as tools. A closer look at the Heslington brain, which is considered to be Britain's oldest brain and belonged to a man who lived 2,600 years ago. Amazingly, the soft tissue was not artificially preserved. Researchers from Russia's Ross Institute of Archaeology excavated the burial sites of four women who were buried with battle equipment in southwestern Russia and believed to be Amazon warrior women. The oldest woman found in the graves bore a unique rare ceremonial headdress. Team Tyrannosaurus rex were fleet-footed with knife-like teeth, serving as mid-sized carnivores before they grew into giant bone-crushing adults. A Homo erectus skull cap discovered in central Java, Indonesia reveals how long they lived and when the first human species to walk upright died out. This is an artistic reconstruction of Lola, a young girl who lived 5,700 years ago. Part of the scene depicted in the world's oldest cave art, which shows half-animal, half-human hybrids hunting pigs and buffalo. An ancient Egyptian head cone was first found with the remains of a young woman buried in one of Amarna's graves. A lice-like insect was trapped in amber crawling and munching on a dinosaur feather. Newly discovered penguin species Kupaupus Tawelli lived after the dinosaurs went extinct and acts as a missing link between giant extinct penguins and the modern penguins in Antarctica today. This illustration compares the jaws and teeth of two predatory dinosaurs, Allosaurus, left, and Majungasaurus, right. This is an artist's illustration of Najashriana Greena in the dunes of the Kokorkum Desert that extended across northern Patagonia during the late Cretaceous period. The snake is coiled around with its hindlimbs on top of the remains of a jawbone from a small Chargerodontosaur dinosaur. University of South Carolina archaeologist Christopher Moore, second from right, and colleagues collect core samples from White Pond near Elgin, South Carolina, to look for evidence of an impact from an asteroid or comet that may have caused the extinction of large Ice Age animals such as saber-toothed cats and giant sloths and mastodons. Core samples from White Pond near Elgin, South Carolina, show evidence of platinum spikes and soot indicative of an impact from an asteroid or comet. The Sosnagursk Lagoon as it likely appeared 372 million years ago just before a deadly storm, according to an artist's rendering. The newly discovered tetrapod can be seen in the left side of the image below the surface. Bronze goods recovered from a river in northern Germany indicate an ancient toolkit of a Bronze Age warrior. Mold pigs are a newly discovered family, genus, and species of microinvertebrates that lived 30 million years ago. Fair Dracul and Tony was a pterosaur, or flying lizard, that lived among dinosaurs 96 million years ago. The fossil was found in Australia. These late Bronze Age feeding vessels were likely used for infants drinking animal milk. This is the first depiction of what mysterious ancient humans called Denisovans, a sister group to Neanderthals, looked like. This image shows a young female Denisovan, reconstructed based on DNA methylation maps. The art was created by Mayan Harrell. Researchers found a fossil of one of the oldest bird species in New Zealand. While its descendants were giant seafaring birds, this smaller ancestor likely flew over shorter ranges. A painting shows the new species of giant salamander called Andrea Sligoi, the largest amphibian in the world. After her discovery in 2013, Victoria's 66-million-year-old fossilized skeleton was restored bone by bone. She's the second most complete T-Rex fossil on record. An artist's illustration shows how different an ancient short-faced kangaroo called Simisthenurus occidentalis looked, as opposed to modern kangaroos its skull more closely resembles a cola. An artist's illustration of Cryodrakon boreas, one of the largest flying animals that ever lived during the Cretaceous period.
Although researchers don't know the color of Cryodarkin's plumage, the colors shown here on are Canada, where the fossil was found. A graphic thermal image of a T-Rex with its dorsotemporal fenestra glowing on the skull. A complete skull belonged to an early human ancestor has been recovered in Ethiopia. A composite of the 3.8 million year old cranium of Australopithecus anamensis is seen here alongside a facial reconstruction. The remains inside grave IIIN 199, found under Prague Castle in 1928, belong to a man from the 10th century. His identity has been the subject of great debate for years. Vertebrae fossils of a previously undiscovered type of Stegosaurus were found in Morocco. Researchers say they represent the oldest Stegosaurus found. The La Chapelle aux Saints Neanderthal skull shows signs of external auditory exostases, known as surfer's ear gross, in the left canal. The Vincha Habera rock shelter in the Ethiopian Bale Mountains served as a residence for prehistoric hunter-gatherers. The world's largest parrot, Heracles Inexpectatus, lived 19 million years ago in New Zealand. It was over 3 feet tall and weighed more than 15 pounds. Saber-toothed cats, direwolves and coyotes had different hunting patterns according to a new study of predator fossils found in the La Brea tar pits. Researchers found 83 tiny glassy spheres inside fossil clams from a Florida quarry. Testing suggests that they are evidence of one or more undocumented meteorite impacts in Florida's distant past. This primitive dinosaur had a YW-shaped jaw and a solid bony crest resembling a humped nose. An illustration of a microraptor as it swallows a lizard hole during the Cretaceous period. The well-preserved fossils of the microraptor and the lizard were both found, leading to the discovery that the lizard was a previously unknown species. The back of a skull found in a Grecian cave has been dated to 210,000 years ago. Known as Apodema 1, right, researchers were able to scan and recreate it, middle and left. The rounded shape of Apodema 1 is a unique feature of modern humans and contrasts sharply with Neanderthals and their ancestors. A 33,000-year-old human skull shows evidence of being struck with a club-like object. The right side of the man's head has a large depressed fracture. The recently discovered fossilized femur of an ancient giant bird revealed that it weighed nearly as much as an adult polar bear and could reach 11 one half feet tall. It lived between 1.5 million and 2 million years ago. This jawbone belonged to a Neanderthal girl who lived 120,000 years ago. It was found in Sklodina Cave in Belgium. This is an artist's illustration of the newly discovered dinosaur species Fistoria dimbingunmal. Radiocarbon dating has revealed that this Iron Age wooden shield was made between 395 and 255 BC. The incredibly well-preserved fossil of a 3 million-year-old extinct species of field mouse, found in Germany, which was less than 3 inches long, was found to have red pigment in its fur. A mass grave dated to 5,000 years ago in Poland contains 15 people who were all from the same extended family. This is an artist's impression of the Ambopteryx longibrachium, one of only two dinosaurs known to have membranous wings. The dinosaur's fossilized remains were found in Liaoning, in northeast China, in 2017. Reconstruction of a small Tyrannosauroid Cisciteranus hazeli from the late Cretaceous. Researchers have been studying Archaeopteryx fossils for 150 years, but new X-ray data reveal that the bird-like dinosaur may have been an active flyer. A 160,000-year-old Denisovan jawbone found in a cave on the Tibetan plateau is the first evidence of the presence of this ancient human group outside the Denisova cave in Siberia. An artist's illustration of Simba Kuba Kutakafrika, a gigantic carnivore that lived 23 million years ago. It is known from fossils of most of its jaw, portions of its skull and parts of its skeleton. It was a hyenident, a now extinct group of mammalian carnivores that was larger than a modern-day polar bear. The right upper teeth of the newly discovered species Homo luzinensis. The teeth are smaller and more simplified than those belonging to other Homo species. The towering and battle scarred Scotty is the world's largest Tyrannosaurus rex and the largest dinosaur skeleton ever found in Canada. Researchers discovered unknown species at the Kingyang fossil site on the bank of the Danshui River, near its junction with the Kingyang River in Hubei Province, China. 
During a study of the ancient Iberian population, the remains of a man and woman buried together at a Spanish Bronze Age site called Castilejo de Bonit showed that the woman was a local and the man's most recent ancestors had come from Central Europe. Durrington Walls is a late Neolithic hen site in Wiltshire. Pig bones recovered at the site revealed that people and livestock traveled hundreds of miles for feasting and celebration. An artist's impression of a Gallianosaurus dorisi heard on a riverbank in the Australian Antarctic Rift Valley during the early Cretaceous, 125 million years ago. The remains of 137 children and 200 llamas were found in Peru in an area that was once part of the Chimu state culture, which was at the peak of power during the 15th century. The children and llamas might have been sacrificed due to flooding. The tooth of an extinct giant brown sloth that lived in Belize 27,000 years ago revealed that the area was arid, rather than the jungle, that it is today. An artist's illustration of what the small Tyrannosaur Moros Intrepidus would have looked like 96 million years ago. These small predators would eventually become Tyrannosaurus rex. Examples of tools manufactured from monkey bones and teeth recovered from the late Pleistocene layers of Fa Hienlina Cave in Sri Lanka show that early humans used sophisticated techniques to hunt monkeys and squirrels. Footprints thought to belong to Neanderthals have been found in the Catalan Bay sand dune. Two of the fossil specimens discovered in Korea had reflective eyes, a feature still apparent under light. An artist's illustration of Naimawantukamoyo Amkia a long-necked titanosaur from the Middle Cretaceous period recently found in Tanzania. Its tail vertebra has a unique heart shape, which contributed to its name. In Swahili, the name translates to animal of the mtuku with a heart-shaped tail. The oldest evidence of mobility is 2.1 billion years old and was found in Gabon. The tubes, discovered in black shale, are filled with pyrite crystals generated by the transformation of biological tissue by bacteria, found in layers of clay minerals. Researchers recently studied climate change in Greenland as it happened during the time of the Vikings. By using lake sediment cores, they discovered it was actually warmer than previously believed. They studied at several sites, including a 21st-century reproduction of Jotald's church on Eric the Red's estate, known as Bratelid, in present-day Cassiarsic Greenland. This is an artist's illustration of Antarctica, 250 million years ago. The newly discovered fossil of a dinosaur relative, Antarctinax shackletoni, revealed that reptiles lived among the diverse wildlife in Antarctica after the mass extinction. Bone points and pierced teeth found in Denisova Cave were dated to the early Upper Paleolithic. A new study establishes the timeline of the cave, and it sheltered the first known humans as early as 300,000 years ago. This artist's illustration shows a marine reptile similar to a platypus hunting at dusk. This duck-billed animal was the first reptile to have unusually small eyes that most likely required it to use other senses, such as the tactile sense of its duckbill, to hunt for prey. Although it's hard to spot, researchers found flecks of lapis lazuli pigment, called ultramarine, in the dental plaque on the lower jaw of a medieval woman. A Neanderthal fossil, left, and a modern human skeleton, Neanderthals have commonly been considered to show high incidences of trauma compared with modern humans, but a new study reveals that head trauma was consistent for both. The world's oldest figurative artwork from Borneo has been dated to 40,000 years ago, when humans were living on what's now known as Earth's third largest island. A 250,000-year-old Neanderthal child's tooth contains an unprecedented record of the seasons of birth nursing, illness and lead exposures over the first three years of its life. An artist's illustration shows giant nocturnal elephant birds foraging in the ancient forests of Madagascar at night. A new study suggests that the now extinct birds were nocturnal and blind. Kibara II is the most complete Neanderthal fossil recovered to date. It was uncovered in Israel's Kibara cave, where other Neanderthal remains have been found. The world's oldest intact shipwreck was found by a research team in the Black Sea. It's a Greek trading vessel that was dated to 400 BC. The ship was surveyed and digitally mapped by two remote underwater vehicles. This fossil represents a new piranha-like fish from the Jurassic period with sharp, pointed teeth. It probably fed on the fins of other fishes. The fossil skull of the young Diplodocus known as Andrew, held by Carrie Woodruff, director of paleontology at the Great Plains Dinosaur Museum. Two small bones from the Siemna cave in Poland 
are the oldest human remains found in the country. The condition of the bones also suggests that the child was eaten by a large bird. This artist's illustration shows the newly discovered dinosaur species Ladumahati Mafug foraging in the early Jurassic of South Africa. Heterodontosaurus, another South African dinosaur, can also be seen in the foreground. A 73,000 year old Red Cross hatch pattern was drawn on a flake of silicrete, which forms when sand and gravel cement together, and found in a cave in South Africa. A suite of Middle Neolithic pottery, including typical Danilo ware, Figulina, and Rida, that was used to hold meat, milk, cheese, and yogurt. These four dinosaurs showcase the evolution of Alvarezsaurs. From left, Haplocharis, Zeunicus, Banicus, and Shibuya reveal the lengthening of the jaws, reduction of teeth, and changes in the hand and arm. Eorhinchoshli sinensis is an early turtle that lived 228 million years ago. It had a toothless beak, but no shell. The leg bones of a seven year old, recovered from an ancient Roman cemetery, show bending and deformities associated with rickets. The famed Easter Island statues, called Moi, were originally full-body figures that have been partially covered over the passage of time. They represent important Rapa Nui ancestors and were carved after a population was established on the island 900 years ago. Researchers stand at the excavation site of Aubrey Hole 7, where cremated human remains were recovered at Stonehenge to be studied. New research suggests that 40% of 25 individuals buried at Stonehenge weren't from there, but they possibly transported stones from West Wales and helped build it. The fossil of the newly discovered armored dinosaur Acanocephalus jensoni was found in southern Utah. The foot is one part of a partial skeleton of a 3.32 million year old skeleton of an Australopithecus afarensis child dubbed Selim. The asteroid impact that caused dinosaurs to go extinct also destroyed global forests, according to a new study. This illustration shows one of the few ground dwelling birds that survived the toxic environment and mass extinction. The remains of a butchered rhinoceros are helping researchers to date when early humans reached the Philippines. They found a 75% complete skeleton of a rhinoceros that was clearly butchered, with 13 of its bones displaying cut marks and areas where bone was struck to release marrow at the Kalinga archaeological site on the island of Luzon. This is just one of 26 individuals found at the site of a 5th century massacre on the Swedish island of Åland. This adolescent was found lying on his side, which suggests a slower death. Other skeletons found in the homes and streets of the Ringford at Sandby Borg show signs of sudden death by blows to the head. The skeleton of a young woman and her fetus were found in a brick coffin dated to medieval Italy. Her skull shows an example of neurosurgery, and her child was extruded after death in a rare coffin birth. This portion of a whale skull was found at the Calaveras Dam construction site in California, along with at least 19 others. Some of the pieces measure 3 feet long. A Stone Age cow skull shows trepanation, a hole in the cranium that was created by humans as a surgical intervention or experiment. On the left is a fossilized skull of our hominin ancestor Homo hidalbergensis, who lived 200,000 to 600,000 years ago. On the right is a modern human skull. Hominins had pronounced brow ridges, but modern humans evolved mobile eyebrows as their face shape became smaller. On the left is a 13,000-year-old footprint is found in the sediment on Calvert Island, off the Canadian Pacific coast. On the right is a digitally enhanced image showing details of the footprint. A central platform at Star Car in North Yorkshire, England, was excavated by a research team studying past climate change events at the Middle Stone Age site. The Star Car site is home to the oldest evidence of carpentry in Europe and a built structures in Britain. This wall with paintings is in the La Paciega cave in Spain. The latter shape of red horizontal and vertical lines is more than 64,000 years old and was made by Neanderthals. These perforated shells were found in Spain's Cueva de la Sabian Sea Cave and date to between 115,000 and 120,000 years ago. Researchers believe these served as body ornamentation for Neanderthals. The earliest modern human fossil ever found outside of Africa has been recovered in Israel. This suggests that modern humans left Africa at least 50,000 years earlier than previously believed. The upper jawbone, including several teeth, was recovered in a prehistoric cave site.
This is an excavated structure at the northern edge of the Grand Plaza at Tepescaya Yucunda in Oaxaca, Mexico. Researchers investigated a pestilent cemetery associated with a devastating 1545-1550 epidemic. New analysis suggests that salmonella caused a typhoid fever epidemic. Standing about four feet tall, early human ancestor Paranthropus boise had a small brain and a wide, dish-like face. It is most well known for having big teeth and hefty chewing muscles. A grand grave of a great Viking warrior excavated during the 1880s has been found to be that of a woman. She was also buried with a gaming board in pieces, hierarchically associated with officers, to use for battle strategy and tactics. The drawing is a reconstruction of how the grave with the woman originally may have looked. An illustration shows the dodo on Mauritius near the Maro Sanges, where many dodo skeletons have been recovered. A 5,000-year-old dog skull found in Germany underwent whole genome sequencing. It was found to be very similar to the genome of modern dogs, suggesting that all modern dogs are direct ancestors of the domesticated dogs that lived in the world's earliest farming communities in Europe. Rosanandrong of Sakalabi, or Rosanna, was one of the top predators of the Jurassic period in Madagascar 170 million years ago. Although it looks different from modern-day crocodiles and had teeth similar to a T-Rex's, Rosanna was not a dinosaur but a crocodile relative with a deep skull. An artist's reconstruction shows Macrauchenia patachonica, which roamed South America thousands of years ago. Combining a range of odd characteristics from llamas and camels to rhinos and antelopes, Macrauchenia defied clarification until now and has been added to the tree of life. It belongs to a sister group of parasitic tila, which includes horses, rhinos, and tapers. This prosthetic device was made for a priest's daughter who had to have her right big toe amputated 3,000 years ago. The surprisingly lifelike toe was made to look natural by a skilled artisan who wanted to maintain the aesthetic as well as mobility during the early Iron Age. It was designed to be worn with sandals, the footwear of choice at the time. The oldest fossil remains of Homo sapiens, dating back 300,000 years, were found at a site in Jebel Erhid, Morocco. This is 100,000 years older than previously discovered fossils of Homo sapiens that have been securely dated. The fossils, including a partial skull and a lower jaw, belong to five different individuals including three young adults, an adolescent and a child estimated to be eight years old. Notosaurs were herbivores who walked on four legs and were covered in tank-like armor and dotted with spikes for protection. But this recently unveiled 110 million year old fossil is the most well preserved of the armored dinosaurs ever unearthed. Microfossils found in China have revealed what could be our earliest known ancestor on the tree of life. Sacorhidas was a tiny, bag like sea creature that lived 540 million years ago. In 2016, researchers discovered ancient collagen and protein remains preserved in the ribs of a dinosaur that walked the Earth 195 million years ago. By studying the skeleton of this medieval pilgrim, researchers have been able to genotype leprosy. They also discovered that leprosy-causing bacteria have changed little over hundreds of years, possibly explaining the decline in the disease after it peaked in medieval Europe as humans developed resistance. The discovery of a species that lived 6.6 .6 million years ago in southwestern China suggests that ancient otters had wolf-like proportions and weighed roughly 100 ibs. The creature, whose skull was excavated in Yunnan province, would have been twice the size of today's otters. The tail of a 99-million-year-old dinosaur was found entombed in amber in 2016, an unprecedented discovery that has blown away scientists. The amber adds to fossil evidence that many dinosaurs sported feathers rather than scales. For the first time, researchers discover genomic evidence of malaria in 2,000-year-old human remains from the Roman Empire. The discovery was made in 2016. Researchers found the first preserved dinosaur brain in history in 2016. They believe it was preserved due to the dinosaur dying in a swamp-like environment which mixed low levels of oxygen, known to slow decay an acidity which can preserve soft tissue for long periods. It is 130 million years old. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.